yeah, I know, I remember. Oh, Luigi's still formed? No. Well, grab me then. Quit wasting my time and actually help me move along, damn it. I kind of forgot what I was doing, so I finally came back to this game after a little bit of time. Yeah. Your mustache really is bushy as hell. How powerful are these plumber's mustaches anyway? I really need to know. Well, I guess it's as important to them as their hats are. More important than for anybody else in reality. Makes sense to me. Well, anyway, welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play More in Luigi Dream Team. This is your host, the MJ 406. And, well, we are continuing to work alongside Dreamy Luigi to hopefully find out where uh, Princess Peach went or where she got taken to. I guess in the meantime, we're gonna help the pillow people. Whatever. Yeah, that could work too. <laughs> if that's really what they want, then I guess I can't say no. I could, but. Damn it, they won't let me. I wanna say no so bad. Okay, Luigi, actually help me. Thank you. Yeah. Help me, you lazy bastard! There we go. Whoa. Oh, man, we're right here too. I should've just gone to the end of the episode here then. Oh, well. Hi, uh, Dreamy Luigi. Hello! One of the Velo folk is trapped in this space. Yes. And what the hell? And her spear is trapped inside of these nightmare chunks. Right. There's a lot more nightmare chunks than I was expecting. Mario, I dare you to break the nightmare chunks and free my friend. Mm. All right, fine. Okay, focus yourself with, and start with this one here. I mean, yeah, it's pretty simple. Good, good. Many nightmare chunks remain scattered here. Break them on and free the pillow. Number yet to be broken will appear at the bottom right. Six. Oh, yes, I can read the number six. Can you count to it, though? Mario, dreamy Luigi. Rescue my kid. Why am I not dreamy? Mario, we know... Come on, Mario, we've been over this. I don't think we have. God damn it. Oh, wow, I could just smash them? All right, then. Woo! Miss one, jackass. Miss one more, jackass. There's nothing in this room, right? Nope, just this. Okay. In that case. Yeah. No, let's do this the easy way. Bam! Ah, <laughs> oh, rubber bands. I know how you work well enough. There we go. We rescued another pillow. You saved the first of the pillow folk. Cool. Thank you for saving me. My spirit quailed, but I had faith I would be saved. Yes. Thanks to this asshole dragging us along. Oh, my feathers! Your Royal Highness! It's been an age! Sire, did you trouble yourself and bring me back? Twasn't me, no. Twas Mario. Oh, Mario! My thanks! Yep, no problem. That's what I always do. Many pillows remain trapped still. If only you could save them all. Yeah, yeah I'll think about it. Huh. We are truly in your debt. Sure. Very well, then. Back to the real world. Sounds a little ungrateful. There's but little I can do for you to repay this debt. At least I will send you back to the real world. Yep, and you use these guys to go back to the real world, in case you were wondering how to get out. They'll create a portal for you to wake up, I guess is the term to use. Yes, wake up. I'm free! Thank God! Whoa! Ah, okay. That was simple enough. Wasn't very comfortable at the end there, though. Oh, Joy, I'm free. Interesting. If we break the nightmare chunks, the pillows go back to normal, huh? Yes. Clearly. Correct. Mario can shatter the chunks, and that is why I need him. Mario, my thanks for saving one of my people. Many of them remain in prison, and I wish to save all that I can. I would very much appreciate your help in this trial. Yeah. Just so you know, I will track the number of saved pillows. You can check your progress in the collection on the menu. Yeah, it's basically my, my completion percentage notebook. By the way, have your eyes fallen upon a princess named Peach within the dream world? These people seek her. Oh, good, he actually is helping. Princess Peach. I am sorry, but no, I have seen nothing. Alas. It's never that easy. Oh, perhaps the elder? 
Eldred, the Pilo Elder, he might be of help. I assumed that Dreambird here was the leader. Eldred, the Elder? Yes, his mind holds all that is known of the Dream World. Tell us he will bring some enlightenment to you. I said Eldred is somewhere to the south of here. Ah, Mush Rice Park, where we are trying to go. South of here is Mush Rice Park. Mario, and there's a way to this place called Mush Rice Park. Oh, yeah. We tried to go there. Uh, first we need to get out of here. Ah, of course. Ah, right, because you're the PLO people. This is your society. Click! They can open the ways to some of these uh, ancient structures, I guess. Oh, this path to ascend from the underground. Thank you! Yeah, no thanks to you, frickin' Starlo. Pulling mustaches is all you're good for. What is it? Also, if you want to go, you can either talk to them for more advice or go back to the dream world through them again if you need to. So, yeah, you can always go back, which is nice. And thank goodness. Because, well, I think you can get all the PLO people you can on your first visit. I don't actually... Yeah. I'm pretty sure you don't need to worry about anything, like having to backtrack severely to get any of them. But, ow! I don't really remember. Wow, bro, I can't believe you got hurt by that. Fuck off, this is harder than it looks! And you didn't get excellent, Luigi! Trying to make me look bad? I forgot, you already do. Hey, what the hell? Yay, a mushroom. I forgot, we fell off that bridge because it broke! God damn it. I should have seen it coming. Oh, wait, I did. Well, whatever, let's get moving. Yeah, I really haven't gone back to that thought. It's like, I've been thinking about it a good bit. Like, the Mario Luigi games really make it profound that it seems that Peach is always the cause of the evil that happens. Like, think about it. All the villains' schemes. The first game, you had Cacletta. Her plan was to basically take Peach's voice and use that to access the bead star which could grant any wish they wanted which could have been used for world domination so yeah there's one Peach's voice was needed to let a wish be granted for anybody well I wouldn't say the second game but technically everything that happened was from Peach going through self-defense so I can't really blame her for that one although she did use the uh the power source, crystal star, or whatever it's called, I already forget. But, I can't blame Peach for what happened part of the time, because, well, that was more self-defense, and, well, who would have thought that, well, yeah, the evil, the big Princess Shrew was going to be able to do anything from there anyway. Who would have thought? Although, Bowser's inside story, Peach is a cause again! Because apparently there's an ancient, there was an ancient dark treasure in the freaking Mushroom Kingdom. And uh, apparently her power was needed to fully unleash it. Makes you wonder at the end of the day. Oh. Hang on, I'll continue that thought later, but hang on. It seems we cannot proceed unless we revive this pillow. Fine, we must return to the dream world. So that we'll find pillows like this where you must go to the dream world. I got it. Uh, I haven't gotten tired anyway. You lazy boots? I'll take the Ouija duty. I'll beat the shit out of them. <laughs> yes, please do. Wish I could do it myself, but you know, hero duty calls. But yeah, about the side story, Peach's power was needed to unleash the Dark Star. Did you wonder if the royalty of the Mushroom Kingdom was really all good or evil? There's four Nightmare Chunks. And there's four Nightmare Chunks nearby. Good reminder, in case you didn't remember, I guess. Each beat world has a different number of them. Find them and share them all. It's the only way to revive the Pilo folk. All right then, if you say so. But yeah. Yep, and if you wanted to leave, you can just um jump up to the cloud and press up to fly out. So yeah, that's how you get out of the dream world on your own accord if you wish to. What the? Oh no, we got trapped. What the hell? Well, not so peaceful now. We're really trapped. Oh, man. Hey, look, I see my face back there. Yes, 
That we should see easily. Thanks. Maya, Dreamy Luigi. I sense we may be trapped. How the hell do we get out? I can't do anything like this. Okay, deep breath. Now, how do we get out of here? Huh, do you see that swirly tornado back there? It's pretty easy to notice. I'm getting a Luigianary vibe from it. It's like you know it's Luigi in particular. Well, yeah, clearly. I'm sorry, I'm out of it today. You remember how to control Luigianary works? No, clearly not. Uh... See, it's for his sake. I can explain again if you want. No! Of course. I said that you were already enlightened. How dreamy. I applaud your resourceful spirit. Boo! That joke should be made way too often. He got mutton with a tornado, dreamy Luigi. It is slightly different this time, but, well... Why don't you see the uh, aura envelop Luigi that you know how to do that? They'll teach you about this one, though. From here on, you require real-world assistance. See? They are giving you a tutorial against a new power anyway. God damn it. I must pass the word beyond the dream border. I'll be right back. The dream border? Oh no, he's going to the border wall. Careful, there are immigrants there. Shut up, Luigi. I mean, Mario. Luigi was talking though. Oh, adorable, talking in his sleep. Freaking asshole. That's how dream bird's doing this? Huh? Scratch your nose? First the stash, now the nose? What are you, five years old? Fine! For now, humor whatever weird sleep request you make! <laughs> yeah. Right here? On your schnoz? Well, here goes nothing! <laughs> I did that earlier, but yep. You can mess with his nose, and... Oh my god! Yo! Could have warned me first! Tartaneo blasts the entire area with a strong wind gust. As an added benefit, it blows background objects closer. I imagine you can move all kinds of blocks using this power. But for now, let's just use it to get out of here. Yes, please, let us do just that. I want to test it again. I got it. Ah! Fucking Starlo! Give me a warning sign! Apparently, Dreamer can use Allegiant's sleep talk, but we can't interact with Starlo. He kind of just. Starlo kind of has to do his own thing. Or her thing. Whatever Starlo it is. Manuel, onward! Well, bye, Luigi! Hey, wait! I see you! You know, it's really creepy that you keep following me, dude. Seriously, knock it off! Ah! Damn, he's got the bad allergy. So, yep, now we're blowing things in the background. Do it the right spot, you can blow multiple objects at once. Thankfully, these objects have a set point where they're actually, you know, blown in. So it's not like I can greatly screw it up. Oh. Although, if I had to get him to suck it back in, that would raise even more questions. How the hell would you do that? Not like you got a poltergeist in your goddamn face. Wait. Aha! Now they won't all be at the end of the room. You're gonna have to explore the entirety of a dream segment in order to find these, uh... Nightmare chunks. Oh wait, no, they all are, they are on one room. It's just a matter of finding them, that's all. Okay. That's good. Man, why does my nose keep getting running? It's really annoying. I'm not even sick, my nose is just a dick right now. Yeah, <sighs> whatever. Also, I gotta get used to talking to this microphone more loudly if it's gonna be like this. You saved the second PO! It's time for you to go back to your own world. Here we go! Wait! I'm not ready to die! No! You're not dying, Mario. Calm down. Alright then. It is time to return to the normal world! Oh, that was the problem with my mic being quiet. It wasn't close to my face! You dumbass. I just have to make sure not to scream into it, that's all. Ah, <laughs> uh, I live! You were dead? Oh, my liberator! Mustached in red! I must thank you, I owe you one. No problem! Hey! Did you see a princess in the dream world? What's this? A princess? Hmm, no memory of that. Crud! <gasps> that's a shame. Hey! Uh, your dress is foreign to me. A pair of red and green clad in matching jumpsuits. Another yellow in the nude. 
from I'm not gonna say <laughs> Wario. Hey now! Those dude! Open your eyes! I have shoes! Yep, that's all you need to not be naked. Shoes! Just shoes? Pick me up here, you guys! Well, uh... Anyway... Does that mean I only have to wear shoes? Mario, no! Tell me, how are you people trapped in those chunks anyway? Huh? Really? You do not know? Dream part! Please allow me to enlighten you. Sorry for forgetting that important detail. We Pilos inhabited this island long ago. Our people were blessed with the ability to travel in and out of the dream world. Oh, great. Another flashback. Son of a bitch. Just deal with it, Mario. It's fine. Now, on the island, there existed two stones. The Dream and Dark Stones, both granters of wishes. The Dream Stone was formed of happy dreams. The Dark Stone, a solid manifestation of nightmares. The safekeeping of these stones was tasked to us. I see. Ooh, but we relax. And one day, the Bat King and Tasma stole the Dark Stone. He looks very familiar. He sought to fulfill his own wish. To become Batman! Really? At great risk and great cost, we fought and cornered him. But just as Tasma was to be imprisoned in the dream world... Oh, the Nightmare Stone. He shattered the stolen Dark Stone. Dark Stone, excuse me. And then... Our, then our true doom came to pass. A black rain of nightmare chunks from the Dark Stone fell all over the island. Well, isn't that a shame? And as we were exposed to the chunks, we were we were all of us petrified. I got memory to change the screen size when cutscenes happen. Like that. God damn it! <laughs> Just in time, too! I had no idea! Yeah, you won! That is why I ask. We must help as many of my pillows as we can. This pillow kingdom can rise again. We are brave and true. Oh no, another rival kingdom! God damn it! First Arasaland, now pillows! Ugh! And as we go about this great work, we may well find your princess. I would hope so, but we should save hers. So we can save my kingdom, you selfish dick! What? Yeah, I know what I said. You suspect the one who kidnapped Princess Peach in the Dream World? You think it could be Antasma? This is what your heart tells you? What could Antasma need Peach for, I wonder? Oh. What happened to Antasma after he was trapped in the dream world? I have clarity up to the moment Antasma was brought to bay and trapped. But events after that are beyond the reach of my mind's eye. Your brain, you mean? But I not think. No, it cannot be. I do not know how to think. Yeah, yeah. You're useless! Anywhere by just navel gazing here. Our new priority has to be to get info from the pillows. Let's get to it. Yes, let's do just that, Starlo. Thank you. You missed you above here. Please speak with me. And by the way, if you notice the design on her pillow had an up arrow, I shall help you anytime you call. Some pillows you may need to use to get around. For example, you need my help. I need help. <laughs> <coughs> Please help. Oh, right. I have to actually move. My bad. Right. Gotta pay attention to the action command. I was busy coughing. I completely lost focus on that. But yeah. Another villain seems to need Peach for something. Like, why? She really should just stay cooped up in her castle. You know, as much as I <laughs> do make fun of Toadsworth for being paranoid. He's not wrong. Like, Peach gets caught up in so many nefarious schemes. Like, is it worth having her leave her castle at all? Ah, damn it, he faked me out. Pay attention to the eyes as well for that one. God damn it. What a pain. But yeah, how is Peach the one that opens up all the evil in the world? Like, seriously, Peach is evil. Like, there's so much evidence to corroborate the fact that she is evil. Maybe Bowser's been the good guy all along. Unless he just wants to use her power to conquer the world, which... was the initial premise of the first game? He did kidnap her because of her power. And use his magic power to, uh, take over the world. It's like... 
It's either he's trying to eliminate Peach's power from his plan, or combine it with his own? You know, it's really hard to think exactly what it is. Either way, there's something seriously wrong with the fact that Peach can unleash so much evil in the world. So if he just has a bad day, the whole world could just be doomed. Like, I want to get this dress to this bullshit! Fine, I'm gonna lose a dark star everybody! Wait, what? No! <laughs> what is wrong with you? Calm down, it's just a dress! Just a dress? You have no idea, Mario! Oh, come on! You can buy another one! You're dead f you're dead first. Wait, why me? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, not all pillows are required, by the way. You don't need to go after all of them, but you should. But, yeah, the fact is... Oh, it blows my mind. The RPG's really opened up how much Peach is essential to so many evil plans. It's like, yo, either imprison her or kill her. The world will be better without her. But nope, Mario's got a goddamn boner. Hey, you don't know how good it actually is. Whoa, that's a big nightmare chunk. How the hell? Not like it. That's a giant Luigi tornado as well. Just keep in mind, if you're in the same room as a legionary device, you do have to be within the general vicinity of that device in order to be able to use it. Also, that thing is massive. And we gotta work our way over to it. God damn it. We see the end goal, but we don't know the way. More of these evil frickin' statue ghosts. Why are they even in here? Is the dream world based on the location they're in? Or is it like... You know... Based off of... Luigi's actual, like, mind for what he would think would be here. Sometimes I do have to wonder about that. Ha <laughs> ha! Double stomp, bitch! How you like that, huh? Well, I got rid of the storage, because you guys are much less of a danger than the storage was. I love all these herds I can just kill with a single stomp. Eh, I think I said my piece on Peach. She needs to be eliminated, but, well, because Mario's friggin' hero boner, he can't get rid of her. That asshole. Why are they hopping really happily into place? Yeah, it doesn't matter to me. Ooh, what do they get? A mushroom. Yeah. Maybe as well practice dodging. Oh no, a whole line. <laughs> I had to, how did it take him so long to come up with the idea of being able to, like, move and dodge? Like, in regards to, like, the counterattack combat in all the games, this game definitely does have the best counterattack strategies in all the games. Paper jams are interesting, but not great. Bowser's Night Story definitely upgraded from what the first two games had. The first two games are basically hammer and jump. But Bowser's Night Story actually introduced, like, special dodging methods. And, well, this game takes it to a whole new level, and... Yeah. Damn, first strike eliminated everybody! Oh, man! Oh, man, nailing that first strike feels beautiful. You'd think it'd be an expert challenge for nailing expert strikes, but then again, they're not battle-based, so... I guess they think it's too easy. <sighs> Whatever it is, what it is. Ooh, a small Luigi-nary. Oh, right! Heads up! I don't think you can merge when there's an enemy nearby. Either that... Yeah, because the, the way Luigi spins, if he hits an enemy, well then, yeah. He's going to get caught up in the enemy's business. Damn it, I hit great instead of excellent. Son of a bitch! So yeah, just be careful where you try to activate a Luigi area device. Make sure the enemies are not in the vicinity or else, well, you'll get stunned like what happened to Luigi. I mean, it didn't do anything because, well, Luigi's not in combat, but still. If it was Mario who got stunned, then things would have been a bigger problem. Now, let's blow everything in, shall we? Please stop doing that! Looks like he's trying to get me sick! Maybe he is, Mario. Revenge for all the times that you've been a dick to Luigi. This is his 
Finally, revenge. That's so lame. So he's getting revenge on me by sneezing on me in his dreams? What an asshole! Sorry, Mario, that's your problem, not mine. Yeah, not fair. Yeah, I used... Mm. I'm still wondering if the series is going to come back. Because, I mean, yeah. It's clear by the trademarking that Nintendo was doing towards the end of last year, or middle of last year, that, well, they do, still, they do still care about the Mario and Luigi series. The Evil Alpha Dream is gone. It is, it is true they're at least trying to keep the series alive, at least through trademarks. Whether that means it's going to be more games, or, you know, maybe somebody else. Ooh. I wonder if another company's going to try to remake another game. Maybe for Switch. Why not get us a console Mario and Luigi entry? That's a crazy thing. There is not a single console Mario and Luigi entry. Not one! They were all for freaking handheld. Like, I would have really curious to see what they could have done this series going up to consoles. But unfortunately, we never got to see that with Alpha Dream. Still boggles my mind that Nintendo thought it was smart to make them remake freaking Bowser's Inside Story. Like, that was a recipe for disaster. Nintendo doomed Alpha Dream with that. A like, remake of the first game I get, because yeah, that was only the Game Boy Advance. A lot of younger players may not have gotten to play that one. The only other way to get it was through having a Game Boy Advance copy or playing the Game Boy Advance copy on Wii U, which not a lot of people had. I mean, the remake did sell super well, but it still sold enough. But I will not understand the Bowser's Inside Story remake. That was such a dumb decision. Why did Nintendo make them do that? I will never know. I mean, it was their best-selling game already. Why do you have to try to milk it again? It it really does boggle my mind sometimes. And again, some people say that about Nintendo in general now and then. They have a lot of great IPs and great franchises and great games they could use, and they underutilize them. Or they could do what they did last year and make them limited time availability, even on download, which makes no goddamn sense! Believe me, I understand some people's frustrations, because, yeah, it could be pretty dumb. Still, there's always the hope that they, you know, listen to their fans and do what they want. And yeah, see, I just overrided one of the orbs I already had, so I basically just replaced it with nothing. So, you know, if you see you're going to fill another orb, use one. Well, this could be bad. Well, go for it, Luigi! Oh my god! Wow. Well, that worked. Thank you, Luigi, for that. We have now saved our third Pilo! Pilo folks saved three. Now they'll just tell you how many you've saved overall. I want to say there's 40 something in all of the game, but I don't remember. It might be more than that. By the way, that's another Pila we have saved. And because of that... Woohoo! Finally! Oh, we're finally done? Oh, I was having fun there. Yeah, Sneeze, it'll be you disgusting prick. Phew, at last. Thank you. Excuse me! Shut up, Starlo. Do they involve reference to speech with you the Dream World? Are you gonna really ask every single one of them? Princess Peach. Yeah, she looks like she wears a pink dress, and she's sadistic. I'm saying someone took her down some sort of hole, correct? That's all we know! Where they took her underground is a total mystery! It's a secret to everybody. Perhaps. She might have been taken to Dreams Deep. Dreams Deep? Dreams Deep? This place exists? Highness! Yes, it exists. Based on what we know, I said the strong possibility she is in Dreams Deep. How did I not know that place existed? Hmm. Dreams Deep. What is it? You had to put him in REM sleep or something? Dreams Deep is deep. The nadir of the dream. I feel as though I have been there before. Have I been there? Or have I not? What do you got, amnesia? Hmm. My mind is cloudy. 
God damn it, you're useless! Oh no! Almost as useless as you. Oh, of course. Head south from here and you shall find the elder of the Pilos, Eldream. Eldream might know how to enter dreams deep. About time, something useful. You speak true. Eldream must know of it. When we reach the ground level, we must head south. Let us go to this place called Mushrise Park. Well, we know now already. Thank you! We're closer to the princess! I knew it! Ow! What the hell happened to you? Sorry, saliva got caught up in my throat. Uh, tell me you want to go quickly to the ground level. Go quickly to the ground level? Oh, to the pipe, I see. Can I help you? Yes, I need help. Now. And use a circle pad to pick your destination if you got multiple destinations to choose from. Candy! Ah, oh, they brought these blocks back as well. So try to hit them well so you can actually, you know, get the uh, coins you want out of it. Alright then. In case a plot happens, I'm going to end the episode here because I don't feel like, well, getting caught in some more shenanigans. Or actually some major development for once. Alright, so... We're learning more and more. We have to meet up with Eldream to figure out exactly what's going on with uh, Peach being taken through the dream world, supposedly by this Antasma character. At least we know who the villain is. We just to figure, need to figure out what his plan is in full. So come back next time. Oh, yeah, we're probably going to rank up next episode. Sweet. And when we come back next time, we're going to make our way to Mushroom Ice Park for real and not fall down a goddamn bridge into a freaking hole again. <laughs>